So, my name's Amber, and I haven't really done a lot on this channel so far, but now I'm going to. Yay! And I have an actual point to mine. Not like you guys haven't had actual points before, but like I have like a point, point. And I'm going to be talking about World Suck. Actual World Suck. And I was in a really sappy mood yesterday after watching a bunch of videos on Upworthy and YouTube about different injustices, so I'm going to bother you for the next, like, five minutes. Enjoy. So I was reading this article the other day. I don't remember what magazine it was from, or the name of the article, or the name of the people in it, or anything like that, but this guy is figuring out a way to cure cancer, and he might be onto something, and you see a lot of articles like that. But with this one, I don't remember exactly what the procedure was either, but it had a lot to do with the white blood cells, and you just filter them out of the patient and put them back in while they're killing machines, and you just, I don't know, I was just reading this, and I'm just like, yeah, science! But then, after a couple paragraphs, it stopped talking about the radical awesomeness of saving lives and started talking about how to make money off it. About 10% of the article was all like, yeah, research, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the other 90% was explaining how he would buy out this company, then buy out that company, then sue this person, then patent this, and overall make a lot of money. And they made it very clear that any semblance of world-saving potential is a solid second to the financial benefits to a select few. Which leads me to another phenomenon, which is gene patenting. And the name is completely self-explanatory, so if you don't know what genes are and you don't know what patents are, you need to get yourself to Wikipedia, because I am about to explain that. So just combine those things, and it makes another thing that you might not have known about. And it's basically owning DNA sequences. Owning. So to make a long story short, it limits both research and potential treatment options for that sequence. And a few of you might be thinking, but Amber, what about the Supreme Court ruling in 2013 illegalizing it? Illegalizing it partially, concerned viewer. Partially. You see, while it was a step forward, it only illegalized patenting DNA that's naturally occurring. And it doesn't affect any DNA that's synthesized in a lab, or intense genetic mutations from what I understand. Also, I've been saying DNA a lot, but it also applies to RNA. And, and the whole concept applies to, like, all medical patenting. Now on to example three! College! So as Becca covered in her last video rather extensively, Eddie and Julia just left for college, and then I'll be leaving, and then Becca will be leaving. And we're all going on this glorious university experience. As of right now in the U.S., college is kind of a must-do for qualified youth. Like, it teaches you new academic material and problem-solving skills, it teaches you how to cope in new situations, and it qualifies you for most jobs. So why does it cost an arm, a leg, and your soul? I get that there are a lot of expenses involved in feeding and housing and providing good resources and teachers to a mass of students. But, if the tuition for one year costs more than the student's family's income for that year, then there's a bit of a problem there. Actually, a huge problem. And if it weren't for the fact that I spent hours and hours and hours every day for months applying to billions of scholarships, that would have been the case for me too. But it's still a problem for other students, and they're just, they're struggling to have this amazing opportunity, and you know what the Chancellor is doing? The Chancellor of the college? He's just sitting in his office like... Now if you haven't seen where I'm going with this, here's where I'm going to hit it straight on. If you are involved in medical research, or you're the owner of a charity, or you're a politician, or you're involved in fostering intelligence in youth, your job should be more important than your paycheck. If decreasing your paycheck were to decrease your performance or eradicate your motivation at all, then you shouldn't be in the position you're in. If you are benefiting from withholding resources to people, then you shouldn't be in the position you're in. But since these kind of people are in these positions, like, what do we do? So the only thing I know how to do, and what I'm trying to convey through this video, is that we need to A raise awareness, and B, 
take personal responsibility. So A, you hear about an injustice, you tell people about it, you get them fired up, you make them want to change things. And then once you get people fired up, you take lawful action, you sign petitions, you protest carefully you elect the right representatives, and then maybe you can even get into a position of power yourself and do things the right way. And there's a part C, and it's the most important thing you really can learn, and it's to love people, and teach your children to love people, and just, with every fiber of your being, genuinely care about the human condition. Thank you for watching. I'm pretty sure my eyes weren't focused on the camera the entire time, but it's very hard to see where the camera is, and they may not be focused right now. But anyway, you should like, and share, and subscribe, and comment, and especially comment. I want to hear your thoughts, because I'm not the most politically correct, perfect person. So, that's it. I hope you have a wonderful day, or night. You know, whichever.